welcome back folks once again to the blizzard anz sc2 pro league brought to you by gamestar i'm zef with me yes we're about to hop in sweet juicy tvt oh yeah we are and i reckon this is going to be a pretty even matchup to be honest uh pig jr who's pig's brother um he's been playing a lot of starcraft zef i, I looked at his profile and he's got like 600 games played in the last season it's around like top 100 gm yeah. and hut has been around for a long long time and hut uh recently won his kind of first premier australian land with the pro land recently we were both at that and yeah. uh, he was so pumped and I, I was so happy to see him do so well and he was so relaxed in that environment i think he's probably at a better level now than he's ever been when you compare him to the rest of the competition Absolutely. I've been casting this guy, like, since I started cast. Yeah, like, and since, it's... what, 2012, 2013? Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. even early as maybe, like, late 2011. I, I can't even remember. But he he does look really good. Like, this is definitely the best form he's ever been with, been in. And taking the pro plan, obviously, a great victory there. And he's coming mm. up against a bit of an unknown entity. So these guys, sure, they might hit each other on ladder, but in the tournament setting, they haven't actually clashed because I believe the only tournament uh, Pig Jr. has ever played in was actually the WCS Valencia qualifier. Um, and that's, yeah, that's really that's what right. to go off. Yeah, and like you say, um, you know, Hut, he looks really good, uh, but he's also pretty good at StarCraft. So, um, yeah, it's, it's going be, gonna to be an interesting matchup for sure. We'll see if the players are ready, and we're going to jump right in. Now, it's going to be on Catalyst, which is a map that's um, kind of new, but it's kind of, uh, I would say, a, a rehash of one of the maps that we had in Heart of the Swarm. So it's going to play out reasonably standard. Both players will be pretty comfortable considering the, the layout of the first to third bases. This is about as standard as it comes in the current map pool. Yeah, it's it's a pretty kill cool map. Um... Most people uh, aren't too rustled about it as they might be with some of the other maps in the pool at the moment. So countdown has started and we are going to be loading into Catalyst between Pig Jr. and Hut at TVT, the first TVT of the tournament, in fact. And I'm really keen to see how these guys go and uh, see what his brother has to offer the ANZ StarCraft 2 scene for his debut here. Yeah, he's living in the shadow of his brother at the moment, but, you know, a couple of decent performances in tournaments, and he's going to just burst out um, and make a name for himself. But let's go ahead and introduce our players, starting with, down in the bottom right-hand corner, playing for Team SYF Gaming in the blue, is Hut. Hashtag cut for Hut 2017. <laughs> and in the top left, a fresh pickup for Legacy, this is Pig Jr. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> stopping all his SCVs on stage. That's that's seriously the worst feeling. Like, oh. Even when it happens just in a ladder game, you're like, oh, oh god, I, god, can I just leave the game now? Well. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Tough days. You know, SCVs, it's the same hotkey as stop. So if you've got some nerves, like maybe this guy does, mm. uh, stuff like that can happen pretty easily. The Poor Kai, man, really... especially considering I just zoomed in on his SCVs and everything. <laughs> oh, sweat skinny. Oh, man. Well, hopefully you can laugh that off and uh, don't get tilted. That would definitely tilt me, that's for sure. But uh, I'm that... tilted just vicariously for him. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. Well, we'll see what happens. He is going for a quicker double gas hut over here sticking on the one gas. So tell me, death resident TVT expert, what does it all mean? Oh, man, I can give you some sick analysis about what this means. It means the hut's going to expand and Pig Jr. is not going to expand <gasps> for the time being. No way. Oh. Crazy. Now, what, what's actually going to be crazy is how the build orders go now that the Raven has been changed. Because previously, in the, in the last patch, players were always opening up generally with like one or two Ravens, doing some harass. If you open up double gas, I mean, maybe you get a Banshee or like, go for some weird drop. But Ravens were kind of what the whole metagame revolved around for quite a long time, for four or five months. But now the new Raven, it's, I got to say, Zeph, it's not very good in the early game. 
So I think that Pig Jr. might have something a Banshee, especially if he goes and scouts with his Reaper. Um, Hut does manage to find Pig Jr.'s SCV and take that out on the right-hand side of the map, but when Pig Jr. realizes that it is an expand. Now, either a, a double Cyclone drop or Banshees would be the choice. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. I've seen a lot of that Cyclone stuff happening um, with the new patch, as you mentioned. So we need to see what he throws out here. We've got that Starport getting close to finishing up here for Pig Jr. Two Reapers on the Prowl. Um, but keeping his at home for the moment while he secures that expansion. Sending out an SEV, just missing those Reapers, though. Oh no, he actually hits one of his own reapers with a grenade and all of the micro back and oh forth God. was so sick. Neither player loses a reaper. Wow. Is... That was a bit of a butt clincher. But uh, they both keep their reapers alive at the moment. The first cyclone has now popped out for Hut. Well, and what is that? It looks like a banshee on the way with cloak for his opponent. I like it. Yeah, I like it. At the very least, it's going to force out uh, Engineering Bay. That Cyclone from Hut's pretty wounded. He's going to go back and repair that, so Hut's going to be losing a couple of those SCVs. He's going to have to eventually lift up that Orbital Command. Um, uh, oh no, he's got the Hellion that's going to be coming down. He does have to repair now on his own Cyclone. Hmm. Yep, and that kind of shuts down that Hayras from Pig Jr. over here. Is... Oh, really? <laughs> With all those SCVs keeping that Cyclone Pal alive. In the meantime, he's going to go grab his own expansion here. And Hut's got one SCV parked there just watching the action go down. Um, has he actually been on that ramp? He has. So he's seen everything that uh, Pig Jr. here has to offer. He's seen the Banshees on the way, so he should be prepared for that. In fact, Hut has uh, got out of Raven halfway down there. Yeah, and while the Raven now is not a very good offensive choice, if you're expanding, it's a fantastic defensive option. And the real reason is because you've got the new uh, ability, uh, what is it, Scrambler Missile, I, th I think it's called. I'm, I'm going to get it right eventually, but I'm terrible with names. <laughs> but, too, but, but, like, you cast that on the Banshee and the Cloak is, is uh, nullified. So the Banshee has to then recloak after the Scrambler Missile stops and just loses all of its energy, so becomes very impotent very quickly. Now, Pig Jr., he needs to find some damage. He can't afford... Oh my oh, god, woo. the Cyclone TPS! Ah! Oh, that initial rapid fire, though. Well, that Banshee didn't have a lot of luck, did it? Welcome to Free to Play. Um, <laughs> pretty sick. Yeah, this this opening is looking uh, not too great from Pig Jr. right now, but it would have actually done so much better in the old patch. Is he'd be able to keep his Banshee alive, but god, these Cyclones are beastly. Yep. I think in a couple of kills here now in Hunt's natural base, but again, the Cyclone's getting right under it with the accompaniment of two Vikings and a Raven, and it really doesn't stand a chance. It evaporates. Having to killed be fair, 10 workers. Yeah, to be fair, that got a lot of kills. That actually got too many kills, and now Pig Jr. is basically equal on the workers. Uh, I'd say the one thing that Hut has going for him is the air control, so he's got that Raven, and so eventually if Hut likes to push out, he can go and scramble those tanks, and once the tanks have that ability cast on them by the Raven, they stop firing. So if you want to push into a position, if you can get some air control and liberators, then you've got a real win condition in the mid game, and, and it's really because of the Raven's new ability. Yeah, it's interesting that how it plays into that sort of siege tank positional battle. It sort of gives you a way to break through that. It's more than just sort of dimming up and trying to siege up first or anything like that. So um, we'll see how he goes here. He does have that air superiority that's really not going to be wrestled from him in the near future. Nice tank positions from uh, Pig Jr. here. But it looks like Hut might get himself a really nice position Utilizing the low ground here in that vision range that he has, although oh, oh, he's going to burn down those eight units! Hut, please! You're not supposed to be losing your Raven like that, buddy, and loses a tank as well. What could have just been a fantastic position and a fantastic fight just turned into a bit of a, a game-changing move. Wow. Yeah, that really did not go well for him. He lost a couple of tanks, he lost all of his air. 
um, oh, excuse me, Bar One Viking, but the Marines went down there as well, and that really did nothing. So I felt like I was watching Upper Tree Zelda stream for a second there. I mean, that was a solid <laughs> throw. Oh my god. I mean, shout out to anyone that gets that reference. But uh, now Hud is going for his third base. Something I was saying to you earlier, Zaf, was that Big Junior loves to two base in TVT, and that's exactly what he's doing here. He's got so many units. He's got those Marines. He doesn't have combat shields, but uh, he'll be getting them pretty soon, I would expect. And he's already got his plus one. And look, it gets pretty dicey for Hut to defend his main against like Medivac's flying in and his third at the same time. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of units left to stretch himself between those three bases. He has one Viking patrolling the outside of his main, rallying extra Marines to his ramp there. Um, now, Pig Jr. is just rallying everything he has over towards his third base. So if that holds, he's going to be looking good. But uh, that's the if, right? Like, he, he needs to actually be able to contend with his force, I guess. Considering that HUD is mostly already sieged up and ready to go, it makes it a little bit more difficult to push in here. Oh, the balls on this man. He was picking <laughs> up with his medivacs and then he decided against it. And that's definitely the right choice. Here we go, those uh, Marines are coming in. The siege tanks are now in position and siege. But he will be able to get a couple of these tanks, I think. He might just be able to fortify this position in time, but he does unsiege. He loses everything and now Pig Jr. is up 20 supply. Uh-oh, he almost takes out the buff there. It looks like he may very well lose this space straight up. With the Marine DPS there, he can't really get close enough That's with those five siege tanks in his so... Oh, so close. Yeah, he's not quite going to be able to save it. Oh! Save it! 22! <laughs> take it all back! <laughs> 10! Oh my, oh my god! Clutch save. But honestly, it's probably not worth repairing that at this stage. He's actually going to pull the boys and go for it. And this actually might work from Hut. He is going to be able to clean up those tanks. But does he have enough firepower? His Marines don't have the upgrades that his opponent does. And that's going to be it. That's the curtain call. And Pig Jr. is making a name for himself. And he will be taking Legacy to a one-up advantage in this best of five series. A valiant effort from Hut there. Trying to stim forward with what he had left. The third base is still flaming in the corner there, but he just does not have the numbers to defeat this. GG! What a game. Oh what a result. God. I was Instead definitely expecting Hut to, to take that one, man. Yeah, well, the two base TBT is strong. He hit uh, real hard there, and Hut, uh, having a bit of a bungled attack there on the other side of the map, really hurt his chances there in that match. So, um,. Well done to Pick Junior, putting another point on the board there for a legacy. Wow. And we've got a real game on our hands, because now we go into the next match, Zeph, and it's going to be Runamuck versus Zetha. And I, I feel like... I feel like Runamuck could possibly get an upset. And if he does, I'd love to be in the room with him because he would just have just so much energy. It would be <laughs> fantastic. Um, but I feel like Seether is favored, at least on paper. I'm not sure how much these guys have been playing StarCraft recently, but with the announcement of a team league like this, they're probably playing more than they have in the past couple of months since WCS. Yeah. So I'd expect them both to be in pretty good form. Um, and, and I'd say maybe Seether, I'd give be like a 65% chance to win this, but look, Runamuck could certainly make a, a name for himself in the next game too. Absolutely, yeah. You're right, the Team League has rekindled a lot of passion um, amongst players, because this is usually a bit of a dead zone in the year, you know, all the big tournaments mm. have wrapped up. Uh, I think the next thing people are usually waiting for would be the OSC finals coming in January usually, so there's really not a lot of reason to play unless you're just checking out the newest patch, right? Um, right. But I, I'm sure both these guys have been playing a lot. I know Runamuck's been streaming a little bit, even playing uh, while he was over on his BlizzCon trip. And he has actually beaten Seether in ladder games before. So I do have faith in the fact that he might be able to pull uh, what I would call an upset, given that, as you said, Seether is favored on paper. So time will tell who's going to be the victor here for the next match. So as always, guys, we'll take a quick 
couple minutes break while we get that lobby set up. Tell your friends that this is on and we'll be back shortly.